Tonight, two buildings on the campus of Knoxville College cited by the city as hazards. Inspectors say Robert H. Harvey College Center, as well as L. Nathan Hall, are, in their words, unfit and dangerous. The president of the college will present a plan of action for the buildings at a public hearing later this week. The college did close more than 20 years ago, and right now the plan is to use money raised during this given Tuesday to help the campus move forward with new construction. Tenure reporter Jacinta Rinder joins us with more on those plans. Jacinta? John, the president of Knoxville College says giving Tuesday is always a success. This time around, they are raising money for a new building that is set to open in January. We have a goal of $18,750 that we are trying to raise, and that will go to be used to outfit our new leadership building that will be coming in January. While Knoxville College faces two citations from the city for the College Center and L. Nathan Hall, on this Giving Tuesday, they are raising money towards a new facility. Ron and Diane Damper Leadership Building will be our new one-stop shop. It will be our office space for our um, administration and our faculty that are going to be on site. Leonard Adams, the president of Knoxville College, says the building will also have classrooms and study lounges. In 1997, Knoxville College lost its accreditation. A few years later, the doors of the college closed. Campus leaders have tried to reopen. Adam says the new building is a step in a positive direction. We've been waiting for the day for students to return back to this campus and walk these grounds. And so that's what our new leadership building would be. On Friday, Adams will address the two sided buildings at a public hearing. Our first steps will be to make sure that the buildings are as secure as possible and that they are uh, secured from uh, a residence uh, engaging these buildings. Even while they could lose two buildings, raising money towards another is a sign of hope for the future. We're really excited and we're working on our accreditation application as, you, as we speak. The president of the college and other campus leaders hope that after the hearing, they can move forward with preserving L. Nathan Hall. The college center is not registered as a historic building, so it may have to come down. John. Jacinta Renter with the update. Thank you, Jacinta.